So I'm just going to share my screen here. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the app. Um, so, you know, the, the, um, the core of what the housekeeper is going to do is going to take place on our mobile app. The main core of what your housekeeping team will do is utilize our mobile app in order to manage their day to day. And, and so, for example, um, you know, once they get to uh, use a mobile device, they're going to gain that flexibility of being able to go from room to room and manage their day to day without having to go back to to a computer and so on. And I think that's something that we have to come to terms with um, as, uh, you know, a new way of managing your housekeeping team. You're, you know, this is where the main barrier, if you're not ready for your housekeeping team to have any type of mobility, I think you're not going to gain the efficiencies that you need to gain uh, in order for um for you to to maximize the use of a software like this. So so what I did here is I tapped on the icon for Care Clean. That's the name of the product, Care Clean. And uh, I'm going to log in under my my test account here. So you could see the first thing that the housekeeper is actually going to see is a um, is a schedule, right? Because we can put in their entire cleaning schedule for the entire month uh, into our software. And so I'll talk about how we do that. But the point is, is the first thing they see when they get in that day, and this is just an example, but they'll see, you know, this is what I have to do between this time and this time I have these rooms to clean and so on. It's just a quick reminder. You know, you might, you might have an experienced housekeeper that know exactly where and what they need to do, but with, you know, maybe you have a new person coming in, they don't know what their schedule is like, or maybe your schedule changes. This is an easy way for them to know their day. Okay. So now you can actually see that and, and click back from day to day and see what, what's been done in the previous days or not been done. The uh, convenience of the housekeeper in the top right corner, you'll see there's a filter button and you can you know select, okay, I just wanna see things like my, uh, my floor cleanings or my full cleanings or my quick cleanings. Maybe you have different types of cleanings that you do throughout the day. Maybe if it's a retirement compared to skilled nursing. So you'll have different types of cleanings for different rooms. So maybe the housekeeper wants to get all of their quick cleanings done or short cleanings or whatever you call them, you'll be able to name them however you want, but you can categorize them accordingly. Okay. So the calendar is just an easy way for them to see that. And actually, if they tap on any of the windows in the calendar, they can get to their list of room cleanings, but there's an actual easier way. So at the bottom of the app, you'll notice we're on the calendar tab, which is the middle tab. But if you click on the rooms tab, sub tab down here, what it does is it takes you to that particular housekeepers, whoever I'm logged in under. Um, that's their day uh, for in, in a list view, basically. Okay. So it's, it's saying the date is all today. Now, if I scroll down, I, I bet you I haven't done a couple of rooms in, in the past. I could probably see some more and, and, and you know, you can, you can see your entire list if you've if you haven't completed it. But the point is, it's a quick list. Typically, they'd have, you know, maybe five to 10 rooms to clean in a day, maybe more, um, but that would all be self-contained in this, in this view. And so right now you can see, for example, room 101, um, you know, it's a quick cleaning. It's due today and it hasn't been done because the checkbox is gray. Um, and the little blue button just basically tells it that it's been assigned to me as, you know, in this case, it's uh, Soda Pop, the housekeeper. So it doesn't matter who, who your housekeeper is, it's whoever it's assigned to. Okay. So it's a very easy way to, to just start to work through your list. And, and you know, they're, they're sorted in a certain way. But if you look at the top right corner, again, there's another filter. And here you can keep... Um, you can change the sorting order, um, you know, whether it's newest to oldest or alphabetical by, you know, or alphanumerical by room. Uh, if you want to put the priority rooms at the top, you can do that. You can select if the, you want to see rooms that are assigned to yourself or somebody else. Point is, is you have that capability to just, you know, find any tasks that you need to do, any cleanings that you should be doing today. 